Hey guys, Thunderbricks, and guys, today we're going to talk about the new Godzilla vs. Kong U2's figures. And these were, of course, announced a couple days ago, but I finally got a chance to talk about them. And that's going to be pre orders in two days. And wow, these are pretty interesting. When I first saw the teaser, I was actually really, really excited because I saw the shadows of, of course, which versions are coming out. And now we have the full pictures. I do got to say these look amazing, but there's two things I have flaws with these, and I'm not the biggest fan of them. But this, of course, real quick, start with my favorite one. And it's actually kind of shocking this is my favorite one because I was going to say um, this one right here is my favorite one. But I think this might be my favorite one, to be honest. Just from looking at it, it actually looks really, really cool. Don't really see any two negative parts about this figure. Um, it's just kind of interesting how these are, are. I never, of course, seen a U2's figure before, really. I never really like considered buying any. Um, actually, maybe sometimes, but not really. But then when I, of course, saw the license for Godzilla, I was like, heck yeah. And now that we go, of course, got the pictures, the price. I'm actually pretty shocked how much are they. $30 for this figure right here. That's kind of a lot because it's only four inches tall. I think that's like shy of like a Funko Pop right there. I think off by maybe like a couple, like not even an inch or something, but like very little. And that's kind of a lot of money for, of course, a little figure like this. Um, I don't know if they're worth it to be honest. I don't really know, but from seeing the pictures, here's of course an HD picture right here that I found online of, of course, this version of um, Godzilla. It does look really cool. I actually like how, the, of course, the whole thing looks. The atomic breath look actually looks really awesome. Um, one of the major flaws for these figures for me are the eyes a little bit, but for this one, it isn't really a. Uh, um, to me, it doesn't look off for this one. It looks pretty good, actually, with the whole, of course, dorsal fins. It looks actually pretty nice. Um, so that, this is, of course, probably my favorite one right here. Um, it might be tied with the other one, but so far from seeing pictures, probably my favorite one. For release date is in a while. Then it's like several months away right there. Um, so that does suck a little bit right here. But that's, of course, this version of Godzilla. And here we actually have a two-pack of Godzilla and kong right here and this one is actually really really cool because we actually never got any like figures of this version on top of the boat or the warship whatever you call it um here we of course have a better picture right here and this actually looks really really cool it's just dang you're spending quite a bit of money for this one right here because from seeing of course the price it's 40 dollars and to be honest, I don't know how YouTube does their shipping, but most likely it's to pay shipping. So technically, you can spend around like $50 for this thing right here. And that's pretty expensive for only four inches tall. And pie length is probably going to be like eight inches or nine inches or maybe just 10. Um, that's pretty tiny for something this like expensive. Um, that's really close to, of course, like the Diamond Select ones. I forgot the brand. I think it might be Diamond Select. There's, of course, like some Godzilla statues of those. Those look really cool. Those are thing, I think those are around like 60 to 70. And those are pretty big. I think they're like 12 or 14 inches tall. And I think there's, of course, a King Dora version, King Adora, Rodan, and stuff like that. Those look really, really cool. But these are really, really tiny. And from looking at it, they look okay. They look pretty cool for Kong. Godzilla, some reason here, looks a little bit weird. Like, it looks really weird for some reason for me. But um, the other part I don't like too much for Godzilla is his eyes. They look also look really weird here. Um, but I do gotta say, like, how the bow and the water looks. Like, the weathering for that looks really, really good. Sorry, that was my phone you heard right there. But the boat right here looks amazing. I like a little detail right here of the fire and everything. Kong actually looks really, really cool. He's, of course, about to punch Godzilla. You see the scars right there in his, um, of course, stomach area. Um, he's of course roaring looks really really good, but for the price. I don't really know um, But yeah, let you find Is there any more details of how long actually it is Cause so far? I don't really see it. Oh, it says right here. The ship is Two inches tall that's actually kind of confusing and three inches wide I think that might be an error right there for of course how tall it is um, the mountain steel crate ship that is two inches. That is very interesting. Maybe I'm reading this wrong, but yeah, I think width is actually gonna be three inches. The two stands at four inches tall. The parts is right here, the two inches part, or technically 1.83. It's really confusing, but I think it might be an error. But that's so far what I see right there. Um, the release date's also right here, the same for, of course, the last one right there. But I don't know. The packaging shows right here how actually really cool it does look. 
it's actually pretty awesome um, but I don't really know let me know down below of course I'm being of course like like I guess too negative about this but I'm just being honest for these and this one right here is actually really really cool because we actually don't have any of course like Kong on throne because we actually been wanting something like that that'd be really cool that you made a statue that'd be really really cool um, I think we have a better picture right here and there it is it actually looks pretty cool um, of course with the rock right there in the back him holding his axe that's actually really really cool and this one right here is technically the same size as the other ones 4.1 inches um this one right here is also 29.99 so technically 30 bucks so i don't really know if i'm gonna get these um i was planning on getting them but for the price and how tiny they are i don't really know um maybe if i see of course like pictures in hand like that i might consider but if i do consider most likely see if this one in store that's probably my best chance of of course seeing it in person and i'll probably see if i do get it but to be honest i also want to see this one because this one also looks really cool because we don't really have any of course like little statues or anything of like this of those ship like that so that'd be of course a uh, thing i'm thinking about of also getting this one but 40 dollars pretty expensive the other thing is i actually these could potential sell out um they could i'd be actually the pretty shocked if they do um to be honest i don't know how fast the youtube sell out like that but i guess we'll wait and see but yep these are of course my thoughts for these um to be honest i don't know if i'm gonna order them right away but i guess we'll wait and see i might change my mind but yeah these are of course my thoughts um let me know down below of course your thoughts about these um like please let me know if of course you like them or if you're a little bit disappointed or do you think they're too small they're kind of pricey because if a price i thought on my head they should have been like 15 dollars each because look how tiny these things look. The same thing as technically as a Funko Pop. The detail's not too insane as, of course, a Funko Pop. So I think like 15 for these and like 25 for this one right here. That's what I was thinking for, of course, um, for like pictures we saw so far. That's what I was thinking, um, but I guess I was wrong. But that's, of course, my thoughts right there. Let me know down below, of course, your thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye.